Well, first of all, I just want to thank all our fans that came today. I thought we had good energy in the building, and that got us going. And we talked about protecting our house, and that was the number one thing. And so um, at moments, I mean, one thing I'm not pleased with is the turnovers, but I wanted to put the pressure back on. I wanted to get back to being us, and a couple times it was just getting out in transition and, and making the silly mistake or not the right decision. But all in all, you know, again, we got good energy, and I can play different players to get us back in the game. They responded after timeouts. We pushed ahead after timeouts. Um, I thought Shanari Bell did a great job giving us a post presence down low. Um, Sharita does her thing. She can really score the ball. Gigi's going to score. Lacey's going to run the floor. Um, you know, we weren't perfect. But again, like I said, um, we had to bounce back from a, a, a tough road um, game the other day against VCU, uh, which we fought very hard but didn't shoot the ball very well. So just trying to build their confidence back up and also, you know, give Fayetteville State uh, credit. They play hard, fight hard. And we hadn't seen a 2-2-1 back to 2-3 all year like that. So we were been working on that for the last couple of days. Um, so executing against zone and stuff was the thing that we talked about. If we don't have transition and a couple times we disconnected. So we just need to clean up some things and uh, we should be okay. Were the turnovers y'all or them? It was definitely us. I, I, um, we always track forced and unforced. Um, and the first half, all of them basically, I would say, were unforced, except for two, because we tracked that. One thing that we've been proud, take pride in was the turnovers. I mean, we were top in, in forcing turnovers, taking care of the ball. Um, but again, when I wanted to put, have more energy on defense, and I think because we had so many people running the floor and getting after it, it was like, whoa, it was just a late plat pass or should I score, things like that, because we were running the floor very well. We were getting transition uh, numbers. Um, so we just got to clean up some things. Um, I believe in this team no matter what. I, I'm very happy that they responded after timeouts. I think that was a big thing. We had good leadership coming out, so never was really a panic. Fayetteville State seemed to contend with you in the post there for a little bit. And yeah. Plug Paige in. Right. She kind of gets that rebounding advantage. Sure. Going. Yeah. How important was it for her to come in and lift that? It was huge because um, one of their game plan, they're big. Yeah. They are, they are a big team. And um, we had to go with size. And I think Shanari Bell did a great job giving us a post presence. We needed one more. Mm -hmm. We, we definitely needed that, and I wish I would have made that decision earlier, to be honest with you. Um, but I thought once we did that, we did a much better job um, keeping them off the glass and just trying to contain them as much as possible. I mean, give them credit. They were making contested threes. I mean, we had to hand the face. I mean, one time I remember Sharita just like, you know, I mean, you know, sometimes when you get going here and you're trying to, you know, have a comeback, um, they were making tough shots. And I just kept saying, play through. Don't panic, play through. Because, you know, again, we just need to attack and stay up and never, you know, feel like we're, we're not out of it. You know, like we got the lead. <laughs> you know, we're good. I mean, you know, we just got to make better decisions on offense, get what we want, don't force silly stuff. And um, I think we had some great mismatches. I thought that we did a good job um, getting it to the middle in the free throw line in the zone, and we got some high and in. Uh, called a timeout, ran a good play for Paige, and she got a good alley oop on a back screen. So I thought that was good. So we really did try to work on a lot of execution, too, because we're not used to seeing a lot of zone. Um, so, I mean, the timing of that was off at times, but then we really did had some moments of some good greatness second half of really setting good screens and getting some good shots. So um, I'm proud of the win. Again, we're, we wanted to be protect our house, and we did that. You mentioned the turnovers. It was kind of the story in the first half. Yeah. Only 19% shooting, though. What do you think, as a whole, your defense did a great job. What, what do you think is continuing to do that for you guys as a team? Day in, day out. Right. A great question. Depth. I think the depth that just keep the energy on, keep the defense going. So if we can really get after it defensively, we can, you know, force them to shoot a, a poor percentage. And that's one thing that I didn't like. We haven't done the last game. So I talked about that. As a result, we were just getting out of transition, just not making the easy pass, um, the fundamental pass, you know. And so that's kind of on us. But I thought that, you know, they took it. You know, I talked to them at halftime about that, and we tried to talk about that. I said, hey, you know, there's going to be a lot of people coming off the bench when that happens. So we need to learn. We need to learn and we need to grow quick. So, um, but they responded. I mean, again, we were contesting shots. I mean, they made some contested shots. That's part of the game. You can't panic. Absolutely. You also mentioned, too, the, um, the difference between the first and the second half. Now, you guys, um, you mentioned also, too, out of timeouts, you guys did a great job. They went on a run late in the fourth quarter. Sure. You called a specific play. It looked like Tapal late in the fourth. Now, was that something designed or something you guys work on a lot when – 
that right. happened and they were going on that run and right. you guys were able to kind of kill it and stop it there? Yeah, so the last couple of days we've been working on execution of some, uh, some plays, but I tweaked it a little bit for Paige. So I moved her to the wing instead of the post, and I was really happy the way she responded because I was scared that, you know, if I put somebody in the three and put them in the four, could they understand the position? So I was trying to get them locked in the – and time out, and they did. And they wanted to keep running it all <laughs> from that. I was like, okay, let's let's do a different look now, you know. So I was really proud of them because they're, they're out there, you know, trying, trying to please, trying to work hard, trying to work on things. Because um, again, I mean, I was not happy about the turno turnovers, of course. But we came out, and um, we had a lot of players step up. We were trying to take charges, whether we're going to get the calls or not. We were trying to take them. Um, we made some silly fouls, at the, you know, at times. But at least we're trying to take them. I thought Ayana made a good, and Mo had some charges. I mean, you know, players come off the bench when they do that. That's a big deal for us, you know. We got our point guards taking charges and things like that. Um, so I was really proud of them for doing that.